Welcome to the Daily Review. This is Fed Razak, Senior Trading Strategist here at CM Trading. And today is November 24, 2023, and today is Friday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, question is, will we get a Black Friday rally? But first, looking at today's major economic events. So at 11 a.m. South African time, we have a German IFO business climate result number coming out. And then at 4.45 South African time out of the United States, flash manufacturing and services PMI numbers coming out of the United States. Now, looking at the various markets, the only markets that were closed open yesterday were the future markets and Forex symbols. Forex symbols pretty much were unchanged. And looking at the indices, the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ, will they bounce higher today? Now, looking at commodities, gold and oil remain unchanged. And as we look at the stocks, the question is, will the tech stocks push us higher? And lastly, looking at cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin remains unchanged. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we go, starting out with the Euro USD unchanged, really unchanged, nothing going on as it's really consolidating at this 109 ish level. Question is, will it continue to get stronger if the Dow Jones gets stronger? So it's all related to each other, and you just got to focus on the US markets because that is what the catalyst is for right now. So I'm going to jump into the commodities, gold also remaining unchanged, 1992, not doing much, and crude oil also daily unchanged. So you know, when the U.S. has holidays, especially next month when we go through Christmas and New Year's, things kind of die down. But between now and the end of the year, historically speaking, the U.S. markets do rally. The question is, will we get that push? And what's going to be the catalyst? So the Nasdaq is still very strong on its highs for the year, not all time highs, but getting very close, about 500 points away from it. Now, looking at the Dow Jones also pushing higher. It is, a, it is at a certain threshold. So we may get a sell-off next week or the week after and then have a rally into the end of the year, but just got to keep it open-minded for now. Now, what are the stocks that are pushing us higher? Well, it's Microsoft. I mean, look at this. It's just stagnant on its dead highs, 377 all-time dead highs. This is it. This is as good as it gets for a company that just is so, so big and so strong financially. Okay, now looking at the other majors, Facebook also on its highs, not all time high, but on its highs for the year. Okay, if we look at that all time high, we're getting quite close to it. Okay, 390 ish level is close to it, is its high. So we're getting very, very close to it. Okay, and as this has actually come back, now this is all in the prospects of AI being the savior to the economy. And that's what everybody is really telling their head on. Now, looking at Amazon, this is going to be an interesting stock because on Monday is Cyber Monday. That's the Black Friday for e-retailers, okay, for internet retailers. And that might be a major day for Amazon as well. And if we look at Google, it's also very strong, okay? So there are some pockets of places that are not so strong, but pockets that are. Now, lastly, this is one that I want to cover in the video, sold off after its quarterly earning reports. However, this may be a point where it does bounce off because this is supportish area. So keep that in mind. Now, lastly, looking at Bitcoin, just hugging this resistance line. OK, it's showing us a kind of wedge formation. OK, I can't draw it on the graph because they changed the software here, but you can see it. OK, it's right there. I mean, it's really just drawn right there and it looks like it wants to take it higher. But keep this in mind, because if it does, it's going to pop out at least 5000 points. This is Fed Rezac. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.